Hello everyone, this is Imam Tariq and you are watching Need to Know. Bridge loss is the second part of my previous lecture on extraction of elevation along with coordinates. For better understanding, you need to watch that class first. Link is available at description. In today's class, we will learn how to construct contour map using Surfer 16. For this, you need to install Surfer 16 first. Go to your browser. Type Surfer 16. Surfer 16. Click on Surfer 16 download. Here, the first search where Golden sur Software Surfer 16.6 free download. Click on it and start uh, and start your downloading. When you download your surfer software, extract it. It will be an uh, raw file. You will extract and then open. Hold on. Double click on surfer 16 installer. It will install your surfer software and 10 to 15 minutes. After installation. Click on this crack folder. If you install 64 bit, you click on this and copy these two files from here. Cross it and go to your window drive. Here, double click on program file. Look for golden software. This is the golden software. Double click, double click on Surfer 16 and you can paste by clicking Control v and uh, you can replace these two files in this uh, in this folder after replacing close it Th this process will uh, register your google uh, uh, surface software as i already installed and registered i double click on surface software here the point need to know uh, is that surfer need data in excel format for this purpose if you watch my previous class and few if and previous class we extract uh, the data from google uh, google earth and kml file the kml file then we convert to gpx file using gpx visualizer and then gpx file convert to excel file using tcx converter now today we use this data for constructing contour map and 3D models. This we serve with, learn, with name learning on desktop. Now, we go to the server software. Here the first step we need to develop the grid data. For grid data, we click on grid data. Go to desktop or the, or the location where you want to install your Word uh, Excel file. Here you see we, we save our Excel file with the name learning. This is the file, required file. I click on this and upload it. Here you need to check. You know the column A is latitude, column B is longitude and column C is altitude. You can also view data in Excel here. Verify already A column have latitude, B column have longitude and C column have altitude. That means this is correct. If sometime when this data or latitude is at B and longitude is at A or somewhere other places, so you can manage that. Sometime your uh, latitude at C place, longitude at D place, and altitude at E place. So you can also replace this by clicking here. So when you verify this, you click on OK. It will, uh, it will uh, generate a grid file for your data. Click on OK and save it on desktop. Save this. Here you can see the new file learning with mirror. This is the required format which is the, uh, which uh, Surfer software use for modeling. So now we open again our Surfer software. I I need first. 3D model for the data. I click on 3D surface. And select the required file. 
this is the required file open you can see we can get the 3d model for our desired location here you can also uh, change the properties by double clicking on 3d surface learning here and uh, here I show show base will show the base around this and here you can also the scale color scale you can uh, rotate it by clicking the map clicking the your object map tool and rotate it in different angles so you can also you, you can also draw a contour map uh, by go to home this is the contour map point you click on it go to desktop again select that learning file uh, click open it will give you the contour map of the required area required area you can also change the properties by clicking contour map layers or any of the you you can change the contour interval from here con, con, from here major contour you have so many other properties this is major contour properties change up and this is the minor contour properties change up etc etc these are the properties bar and from here you can change the properties of your map and model the other place if you want to put this control map on this 3d map you click on the 3d map go to layers here you select contour map again go to desktop and select that file ok now you can see the contours are appear in this 3d model you can also layer it with the watershed by clicking watershed again go to desktop and select the learning file so you, you can see these two watersheds are there you can also change these by clicking the watershed double click you can uh, minimize or maximize the basin the same way you can also change the contour properties here you can also add the flow direction by clicking the layers and here click grid vector so again go to desktop select that file now you can see it will show you the flow direction by arrow you can change uh, a direction to analyze in a better way So this uh, that's all uh, about today class. Uh, you, uh, maybe I uh, I will proceed for other classes also. But uh, my purpose of this class is just to show you what is the need of this data of longitude, latitude, and altitude. So how easily we can get uh, the data for a big area using Google Earth and convert it to excel format for longitude latitude and altitude and then we convert this data for topographic map or for 3d models we have different options thank you so much for watching stay tuned take care